I just realized I'm playing random and not Zerg. All right. Whatever. We're doing it live. This is technically my Zerg account, but that doesn't mean I can't win games. That's Protoss. Well. Be going for the two gate to open things up. Have my two gases as well. I do uh, favor the Stargate opener usually. It does depend on what he's doing though. Get that second gate loaded. And he's mining from both gases. Is that a second gate? Yeah, of course it is. As is customary. It doesn't look like he's scouting. Is he gonna make a second pile on here? That's what I'm looking for at the moment. Whether he throws a second pile on. It's at the back. In a pretty standard position. I think he's scouting now. I'm gonna get the two stalkers to start, it's pretty customary. He's going for the mothership core first. A bit of a difference. Not a big difference, but uh... Not a big deal. Can I go hide in the corner over here? I'm gonna go pick up one of the pylons at the front so I can defend the front a little bit easier. Hiding the probe off to the side. Getting my Stargate loaded. I'm gonna dip back in and see if he's doing anything I should worry about right now. I'm getting a couple of depths because I need more units, but I don't want to spend the gas. So we're coming in. If he's out on the map, this is actually a big scout if I'm able to get it. Hmm, he had pylon played back over here. I think I'm going to go Phoenix first. Oh. He did scout the Stargate. And he opened up with the depth, so... It makes it a lot more likely he's going for Stargate as well. He really didn't want me to see uh, any information here. We're shading forward. He does have another base on the way, it seems. See how much I can get done with scouting information here. So he's already got Phoenixes on the way. He's going for a second star. I'm not even gonna try to challenge this. He's gonna see exactly what I'm doing here in a moment. I've got good coverage. I don't know if he realizes I'm going for the Twilight. But yeah, we're, he's going double Stargate, which means he can easily transition into Void Race if he realizes what I'm doing is the concern. So I have very limited time to hit a timing. Oh yeah, the idea is going to be to break through because he's going to have very little on the ground. 
I can use that single, um, I'm gonna be using that single Phoenix, maybe for a blink up into his base. Uh, would probably be the best usage, as long as I don't lose it. I already saw his double star, so... I got one of his phoenixes. And that means he's actually still making phoenixes. He'll probably start making void rays here soon. I need to actually just start putting pressure on right now. Because this is going to keep happening. I'm not going to be able to stop this from happening. He's going to use all of his lifts. He's going to be able to kill as many probes as he wants, so I need to keep whatever economy I can. Thank you, Felipe Cool, for that sub as well. Welcome back for five months in a row. I need to try to draw out as many overcharges as possible here. Oh yeah, this is what it's all about, is hitting this timing here as best as I can. I'm gonna get some zealots out. I'm gonna try to tap on the shield here. that immortal is a big deal. I've got another round coming in. Looks like we might have the killing blow on this side of things. As I'm going ham with this and GG, we're able to lay it down. Accidentally pick random. I accidentally pick up some ladder points. Ain't no thing. All right. We'll get a little bit more tryhard here. Now he's gonna be like, oh, okay. Same guy. Now we're gonna be playing ZV ZVP. Now the sad part will be if I lose here. <laughs> so. That's, is, is that insulting to be like, I just accidentally beat you with a different race? <laughs> Ain't no thing, don't worry about it. Thank you, Blank619, for the sub as well. Glad you enjoyed the stream. Thank you for that. Are you ever gonna sell hoodies ever again? I'm not rolling it out. For sure, I'm not rolling it out. But not at the moment.
At least, uh, I think we'll go with the speed version. The Overlord speed is my plan. I'm just gonna get OB speed early. He's got a pretty full scout here. But I should be able to kill that uh, probe in a moment. He wants the information on the third, but I'm not gonna give him it. At least not for free. <laughs> and I'll go to the plus one melee. Single adept, second adept. He actually uh, shaded back. He has two adepts. He could pressure. I am a bit supply blocked right now. Which could screw me. I'm gonna get that plus one melee in a moment. Thank you, Haldbar. Welcome back for five months in a row. I just don't enjoy. There's my overlord speed. It's accelerating. Stargate? more gates so pretty customary timing here I'm making a round uh, a big round of zerglings here I'm gonna try to delay that base while I go for the lair behind is the plan he's already getting the gases out here so he doesn't have warp gate done quite yet Droning behind this. Pretty hard. But yeah, he's gonna have a tough time just retaking this. Is the plan. I mean, that was kind of the point all along. I shouldn't have let this happen, but it has. That was sloppy. To lose these OBs here. Him not getting his third base for this long is a really big deal, though, actually. I'm keeping him real busy. He's got an Oracle as well. That's mostly for killing... Yeah, I slowed down his Phoenix production. There's his plus... My plus one. What are you guys doing? Is he just gonna go for a timing now? He might. I've got the plus one, I should be able to uh, force another cancel. Oh, that's 400 mineral down the drain there. It's amazing for me. I didn't expect him to uh, actually lose it. I was, I was okay with getting another cancel, but I'll take a kill. I will, don't worry. I won't complain. This is going to be a bit annoying, but... Because he's going to get several pickoffs here. He's got to get them, pretty much. Sloppy to lose any overlords, really. Even though I've already done so well. Uh, 
I overdid it on the spores here. Yeah, this is where it starts to get annoying, to say the least. Mm, not really what I wanted there, I don't think. Yeah, he picked up several more. This is the problem, though, is if you don't get the hydras out quick enough, then he starts being able to grind through. So I gotta try to find a good balance here. Of, uh, Hydralis. The thing is, he's not gonna have his, uh, Robos very early. That's the big part. Yeah, the question, like, I'm gonna lose a couple more drones here. And every time this happens, it really does suck. I'm down to, like, 40-something drones, which is not ideal. I've got my plus one attack, but like, the longer this goes on, the more it hurts. Obviously, but uh... Does he have any vision of this? There's a single immortal up here. He's already ju uh, jumped the gun on this a bit. Pop this guy down. Pretty good. Uh, mm. Yeah, that stasis ward was enough. I killed the mothership core, but like, this is enough to break through. It's looking kind of dicey. I killed all of the phoenixes, so I could maybe transition now. He still has two immortals as a big sticking point here. It looks like he only has the one robo at the moment. I'm gonna have Baneling speed done. I killed all the sentries, like, I'm just gonna lay on the pressure. That's the only- that's the best option here. Oh. Just get enough banelings to roll through, is the plan. Just one big swell of banelings to crash through. He's at three immortals, so like, I'm gonna do something. I gotta do it pretty quick here. Oh, he's fighting me before I'm ready. I mean, obviously that's the intent, but. He's got some more adepts here. I've got to pull off of some gas. The adepts are pretty easy to kill. It's the immortals that need to die. That's the hardest part. Yeah, he keeps remaking. Now yeah, we're getting these pylons, but... I've depowered the secondary robo, and he's pinned up against a wall here. So no more immortals for now. So if he chases, that could be in an okay position. He's gonna be forced to make more adepts here. Like, we're on that fine line of whether I can break through here. I've got a lot of, he's running out of immortals and the banelings are starting to crash through. So, uh. You be grilling while I be chilling. kind of okay. Hey dude, I just started this game one week ago and I like Heron and Protoss, can you make 
one game on the both of them and explain yeah, you can me check what out the guys uh, on YouTube well I'm giving you my money so you have to say yes Kappa uh, well don't worry I've already done it you can check out the guides on YouTube where I have exactly what you're asking for all right we should have enough main links to crash through the sentries uh, the adept line rather Couple tough force fields here. Make sure the banelings are controlled correctly. And now we're really starting to crash through here. We've kept up the pressure long enough. Ooh. Like, I couldn't risk going back to economy. If I go back to droning after that, uh, if I go back to droning, then there's a good chance he builds up enough immortals, and there's no way I'm getting to an economy and a tech that uh, is going to be able to deal with his ground army. So I just put my foot on the gas, just eat any drone losses, and just keep going. And eventually the banelings just pull back e until the sentries are out of energy. Um, pull back until the sentries are out of energy. Um, and then once I finally get that army all together, you roll the banelings in and collect your ladder points. But a lot of Protoss players, including myself, will put the uh, will put the robos at the front. Um, they'll put the robos at the front. Um, so that means if you're actually able to push up, you can depower or even kill the robos. So. What a guy. What do you think the chances are of him going... I Every single ZVZ I play in this map is just like a 14-14 in cross positions and I die because I don't have any idea what's happening. God damn it. Do I want to be the guy to do uh, do exactly that now? Semi thrown down a bit early. We require more minerals. What? That one minute and twenty seconds. I think this is the most neutral way. That one... T and by that he means I spent the last minute opening up the stream. And it looks nice. That's right. There you go. The subtlety. So I think we're going to go with a one base spire uh, into the tunneling clause. Uh, is the plan to start. Thank you, Swaggins Baggins, for that sub as well. Glad you enjoy the stream. And then we'll probably follow up with Ultralisks. 
is the plan. that one drone I'm not gonna get it so that's a that's a few zerglings we got on the way here so he's pretty committed to this idea <laughs> oh, you gotta prioritize your stream cheating after your micro. This is an important concern. Common mistake. like he's committed to this idea. We'll have to see on the other side. A couple banes over here. the drones. GG. Replay save. Mm -mm -mm. Knowing what I'm doing is not a substitute for being able to stop it. Uh, doesn't really matter. Why do you like Zerg? I don't know, I just like the uh, swarm style. That's what always drew me to it at the start, was just making a ton of units and throwing them at people. Uh, I like the style. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We got another ZVZ on Frost, always fun. We're burning through the bonus pool pretty well tonight. Make sure to press that follow button if you guys enjoy the stream as well. 
Why is no one spreading creep anymore? That is a very absolute statement for a very, well, also misguided. It's just the games I've played so far have been based on timings, and in timings, usually you're using your queens uh, either for defense uh, or for production of larva. Um, if you're playing a more defensive game, like, and you're trying to tech up, then usually you're spreading creep all the time. Um, but if you're in games like where a huge player is sending 50 zerglings at you before making 20 drones, uh, you're not spreading creep because you ain't, ain't nobody got time or energy for that. Speed starting. <laughs> so, those are going to are coming out of very similar timing. I'm actually just going to chase here. I can fully deny scouting with some fancy play over here. He's got a spine on the way. That's an Evo chamber. So now we've got an interesting split. Every step you take. Seeing that Evo chamber is a pretty big deal, that means it's probably gonna be a Zergling flood. He's just not getting a bane now. So interesting here. Okay, he's got a third base on the way. Thank you for that, uh, by the way, to Ristel. Welcome back six months in a row. Glad you enjoyed the stream. Is this worth it for him? I'm about to find out. He's trying to get through here. Going for the spine. He will get the spine. We're gonna have these guys to shoot over the top. Oh yeah, he's really committed to this idea. The lack of spine crawler is gonna hurt me. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of zerglings here. Just a ton of zerglings. Hmm. We'll see if he reads what I'm doing correctly. Yeah, he's got the spine over here. Gotta sneak these guys down. This could backfire super hard. 
He's real scared about this attack. We'll find out in a sec whether this was worth it. I really did focus on defense here. Yeah, no scores. He's getting the double ups. Oh yeah, he has the plus one carapace, which makes it that much harder to take out all of these. He's got his fire on the way as well. So I don't like the position I'm in at all right now, by the way. I do not like it. I've already pretty much committed to the 1-1. One, one. Though I can. I can just take out this guy. He has so many lings still. Landing that transfuse is a big deal for him. If I can get right on top of this spire here, like killing the spire will be really great for me. Incredibly important. I have my plus one attack done here. Remember, he's going to have the reinforcements coming in. Oh my god, I made so many overlords. Holy shit. I made so many Ovis. Why did I do this? Why have I done this? Oh my god. Why did I make all these Ovis? I just made two more overlords. Something ain't right. We fucked up, boys. It's a reflex. Our forces are under attack. We require more. The boy ain't right. Alright. Really trying to make these do something useful. Like, even making a bunch more hatcheries would be more useful than this. To be honest. He's got hydras now. Can I get Baneling speed? Because I take down my own fucking Evo Chamber to escape my damn base. Don't worry, I can lose these OVs, that's not a problem. There's my Carapace upgrade. talk about these ovies. We need to just double expo here. Fuck it, we're doing it live. Why are there- you know what? Here! That'll get rid of my ov problem. By just getting rid of the ovies themselves. Why am I killing my own overlord? And I'm still maxed out on ovies. Jesus Christ. It's a mind game. It's a mind game to make him think like I don't have money or I'm going to be supply blocked. No, don't worry. I'm not supply blocked. Don't worry about that. Not even a little bit, baby. have enough to easily just like take out there's a lurker den if I could get the lurker den that'd be a huge deal 
because the Lurker Dent is what he really needs here. I'm actually going to sacrifice some for this. It's worth it. It's most definitely worth it. If he doesn't have Lurkers, he's going to have trouble on the other side. Thank you! The Super Visions. Welcome back. You can't make any more Hydras right now either, so... Sublime Visions, welcome back, actually. That's the name I was looking for. I don't know how, but we took it home. 400 OVs, notwithstanding. I don't. Replay save. Mm. I have no idea. All right, like. I can't help myself, but I place my shame. <laughs> North American macro at its finest, boys. Not to only supply block for 30 seconds. Right. Top tier. Mutas are really good. Like, you get mutas out first, you're in a great spot. Uh, even if. Overlord won the game. The fake Obies that distracted him. The seven Obies who gave their lives so he would be confused. God, it's such a bad reflex. That boy Tesla. How you doing today? 4-0. I don't know if he- I don't think that's a misclick. He didn't even use the emote, what a casual. Now you can't let your BM get in the way of your macro. I almost did that other game. It's very important. Alright. You gotta- that's actual some commitment there, he's not copy-pasting. Uh, he's actually typing it out. That's how hard Protoss is, guys. Mm. Alright, first Ovi's going towards the main. Uh, second Ovi's gonna find its way towards the front. <laughs> Alright. If I get if I get proxy gated, I'm gonna be mildly rustled. This will be perfect for a proxy gate. I'm not gonna send out a scout. I bet he's doing the most standard build behind this. I'm mind gaming right now. I want to say it's a nexus first. Pull off a guess. I'm just gonna send my first OV in. And get a look and see if he's going for a really early Stargate. Only the, the only real threat, I think. 
One, two. You be grilling while I be chilling. Those last two games made me harder than steel. I'm glad Take I could Take my help. money, you dirty esports SL. I think I still kill the probe here. That should be a stalker he's building. Alright. What do we got back over here? He's got three gates, which is a little bit odd. Like, he went three gates first. So, I'm debating now, where do I uh, want to go with this? Because usually you'll see a Stargate. Uh, and obviously there is no Stargate right now. There's the Stalker. On the other side. Alright. No third base. There could be, like, a Twilight Council somewhere on the map right now. I'm not entirely sure. Alright. Spent too long on that inject. So the question is, when do I want to invest in Zerglings? Uh, and I'm not entirely sure. Like, do I want to actually try to deny a third base against someone who's going with three gates? Probably not. But he's also going to potentially have a decent chunk of adepts. So, that's what I'm worried about now. I've already got the plus one on the way. I should probably get a Baneling Nest pretty soon here. I would not be surprised if there was like a, a Stargate or a Dark Shrine or something. I'm now making Zerglings, because if he doesn't have a third, well, we're going to find out if he has a third here soon enough. Where's the third base? Will that overcharge on the other side hit? Decent chunk of stalkers here. Gonna get gas on everything. My plus one is not done yet, so I can't really punish anything at the moment. That's a lot of stalkers. We got the plus one. And we're gonna go for... I, I kind of want to do that timing. That's not double robo, that's just more gates. The probe just walks in. Look at all the fucks he doesn't give. I think we're just going to go with the Hydras. I don't actually... Did I make a Bane Nest? I did not make a Bane Nest. That's actually a big deal. Huh. Did he double block? I need probably... I'm just going to get a macro hatch then. Hmm. Yep, double block. As I suspected. He let me get three bases up pretty quick. I still don't know exactly what he's doing. There's a bit of the concern. He just has a metric fuck ton of adepts. I really wanted the uh, Baneling Nest a bit earlier. Like, I would love that Baneling speed finishing right now. That would be nice. But overall, I'm still okay. Even slow uh, Banes are still okay in this scenario, I think. Because they're mostly for zoning. They're not actually for killing units that meaningfully. Let me make sure we have this guy coming up. And if he has no immortals, he should have a real tough time here. He has a single robo.
So we got the disruptor. That wasn't too bad. Now I just focus on transitioning, because I just killed his third. Eh, wasn't the worst ever. Getting some more drones out. Gonna get some more zerglings. Hit one Hydra. But yeah, we just contain here now. Gonna go for the Zergling upgrades. At least continue the Zergling upgrades. There will probably be a War Prism at some point. Now we just buy time and space until Lurkers. He's waiting to send that shot out here. Completely whiffed one. Almost completely whipped another. GG. We play safe. Mm, that's why we prioritize our macro over our BM. That way you don't have to spend most of the early game compensating. Alright, I'll be right back just one moment, guys. Make sure to press that follow button if you enjoyed the stream. Make sure to check out uh, YouTube, Facebook, Tinder, Twitter. Thank you guys for watching tonight. We're doing pretty well to start things off. Uh, but... What, what was I? Did I have... I had a thing? No, I completely zoned out. I had, like, one more thing to say. But whatever. Okay, I'll be right back, like, two minutes. Alright, let's get back to it. We'll play a few more games. How much bonus pool do I have? 60 bonus pool, so like three more matches. Uh, and then we'll jump over and play some random. I just want to uh, knock down uh, the bonus pool so we don't drop out of GM before the season ends, obviously.
else. What do you think on StarCraft 9? Uh, <laughs> I, I think I'm going to have to draw into Artosis for this one. Just a little bit. I think the people who care whether or not a game is rated alive or dead by people who would rather complain on the internet than actually enjoy things uh, is irrelevant to my enjoyment. It's amusing, though, how uh, excited people get to argue whether something is alive or dead, though. Uh, a little bit sad, but mostly amusing. So. First off, he's going towards that main base. Gonna be getting my gas pool. People always ask me, like, what am I gonna do after StarCraft dies? And I respond with, well, I'm still here, so... It's obviously not dead. JW2200, welcome back for 30 months in a row. Two and a half years. Thank you for that continued support. Give him some W's. So... Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with the gas ball. And that means I'll just walk the first... Well, I guess overlords don't have a tendency to walk. Uh, but the idea is that... The probe's still sticking around. He's gonna have all the information. That's okay. No, like, super quick third or anything. I feel like he should have at least one more pylon here. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, he wants to go for... Now, the question is, like, if he's going to go for a super quick third... He's got a stalker back here. Do I just spam Zerglings? Because I might be able to pressure it. He only has one gate. So, if there were ever a scenario to spam Zerglings... And it looks like he's going to lay down a Stargate here. Yeah, this is a scenario to spam Zergling. He just overcharged for my... Uh, oh, God damn it. Please be an Ovi. Thank God. All right. But yeah, if there were ever a scenario to spam Zerglings, this is it. Now, why? He has one gate. He just overcharged to kill. So, yeah, all I'm going to do is just make Zerglings. I know. Not very original. But uh, considering he has one gateway, he's about to make a Stargate, and he just used an overcharge, I think it's the appropriate response. Will I be able to get up that? I might be able to get up that ramp because he doesn't even have a hard wall. He probably is going to add another gateway on, but going to get that melee upgrade. I'm actually just going to bring this guy back. We got a pretty nice surround there. He's still there's the overcharge, and we're going to back off for now. Trying to try to bait out. He doesn't know exactly how many wings I'm going to commit to here. He has to decide if he's going to force field the ramp, or like where he's going to go with this. And there you go. You see? I see? I came? I saw? And I conquered. Benny I mean, that was a simple one. He gave me all the information I needed to make that call. Mm. Mm. 
All right, ZBT. Now this this is my Achilles heel right now. Um, I'm struggling in ZBT lately. <clears throat> I kind of like try to go muted sometimes because I'm not really confident in Roach Ravager, but then I kind of just get caught in between and end up losing too much economy. Uh, so right now I really got to like ZBT is definitely my worst uh, as Zerg. Like, no question. So, let's see if we can fight through that. Mm -hmm. Do you think you still would have went full wings if you hadn't overcharged your overlord? Yeah, I think so. Um, it would have been a harder decision to make. But still, drawing out one extra overlord, he didn't even have warp gate done. So he would have bought himself another like 15 seconds tops with another overcharge. So I still think I would have broken through, but I don't think I would have won the game. Uh, I think if he had another overcharge, he would have been able to buy himself enough time that I wouldn't win the game. But there, I just cut off his army. He didn't have anything to back it up because warp gate hadn't even completed yet. Uh, and I won because I was able to hit that timing. But I definitely killed the third base, and that's fine. Like, if I kill the third base and everything on the low ground, that's all I really want from those lanes anyways. So, uh, and then I would still have plenty of lanes left over to continue to de deny the third base for a while. Queens out, getting three sets of links. Deflect a Reaper here. We require more Need my next OV in a moment. We're gonna get close enough to see if he has this gas. That is not how I wanted this to go. Bad start. God damn it. I didn't expect the Reaper to jump in that way, so I got caught off guard. That's pretty much what happened there. He's coming in for another pass on these drones. He's getting a bit greedy with this. Oh, tap him. Tap him. You greedy bastard. Get off my lawn. All right, I'll trade a drone for a Reaper. That is a trade I will make most of the time. See if he has a bunker up. He has no bunker. Is that a tech lab? I'm really late on my third, but it's mildly intentional. I've got so I got some okay damage done there. He's going to have his third CC. I mean, for six lings, what are you going to expect, right? I, you can only do so much. Looks like he's going full macro. So I want to try to match that. He didn't even have a starport. So that is a big deal to point out. Yeah, my third base is delayed, but I get all my infrastructure online. Decent chunk of drones. already gonna go for this base. How many Hellions will he make is uh, another question. If he stays on Hellions for too long, then suddenly I can just break through. With roaches. He 
traded a Hellion for a Creep Tumor, which is a trade I was willing to give him. I was hoping he would try that. And I did not account for the Liberator. So, that is unfortunate. You know what? No, what? Oh no, it had been previously damaged! Come on. Queen, you can do it. I believe in you. Okay. No! Come on, I had the wall! I had the- No, why are you attacking the road sword? It's a disaster! I told you my ZVT is shaky. You know what, like, it's almost GG at this point. Like, you can't take that much damage. I've had multiple queens. Oh, jeez. I had the queen in the wall and she just left! You whore! We're gonna go with unupgraded roaches here. That'll be beautiful, I'm sure. I just have like a mental block in this matchup right now. I find ways to get myself killed so often. Just keep dancing back and forth here for a little while. Let's see if he has any tanks. If he has zero tanks, I have a chance. That's about it, though. Like, he should be making tanks right now. I'm gonna get an overseer for high ground vision. I'm spamming zerglings as well. I've got three tanks, which is enough to take down a Liberator. You're gonna have high ground vision with this single Overseer. He doesn't know I'm not just macroing right now. Also, I had several queens early, so that kind of would lend itself more. there. That wouldn't mind hit actually. Hit enough. Dropping mule down over here. GG. From the jaws of defeat, we grasp victory. Replay he got, he got so greedy. He just assumed I would try to redrown. I had no intentions. I just. Oh. You gotta go with the Yankee Oscar Lima Oscar build with the transition uh, and just go for it. All right. start today. We got another uh, ZVT. We'll see if I can come out in a better spot than the last time. We 
My FPS is like super low for this one. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I'm only at 60 FPS. I don't know. Some games it just bugs out like that. It's kind of annoying. Dropping down the pool as well. I'm gonna bring that overload into position in order to scout that first gas. I'm gonna have another overlord on the high ground to be able to see if he's attacking. <laughs> We've got the sets of zerglings on the way as well. That reaper came in too quick. This is a proxy. Unless I was late on my pool? You don't want to be... This is a proxy, right? Ah, oh, shit. We require more minerals. This is a problem. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I don't need any gas mining. I can't even use that lava before it's gonna be in trouble. This Reaper count's gonna get out of control pretty fast. Got one. If I could survive till it transfused, I'm not going to, but if I could, the dream. He scans, he sees potential death. I need that zergling speed as quickly as possible. I'm waiting. Yeah, he's got three in there. He's got that constant. Double kill thing? No, not quite. We need the gas for a bane nest. I mean, it's pretty simple. I wish I already had it, but uh. Also, uh, dropper lords might be better. At this point, I think a dropper lord would be better. Both are good, but a uh, dropper lord is a bit better. I'm just gonna drone behind. Because I can just get in, I can ferry everybody in. And let's hope he doesn't have the prep there.
We're going to have enough at the front to keep him distracted. We don't need all this gas mining. through at the same time at the front. We're coming in all the sides. You can't run. You can't hide, motherfucker. Where are you going? There is no. There it is. All right. And bring the nitro good on. Get out. Top 100. really greedy. He had me in the last game. If he had done anything but what he did, which was just three bases into the most greedy build ever, then I was dead. Because he already did way too much damage and he had way too much economy. So I got lucky. I don't think I'll get lucky again. So we gotta make sure there is no luck involved. Player map, obviously, it means that there's limited scouting to start for sure. If he's in cross positions, I'm gonna go mutiling bling, probably. If he's not in cross positions, then, uh... I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna show him I'm pulling up, I guess, even though I'm probably not actually gonna be pulling up again. I'm gonna have two lanes back at home. We're going back in again. Good micro. So it is cross position. Mm -hmm. 
try to let him make sure he doesn't see this, ideally. But thank you, Zarius. Welcome back for 15 months in a row. Glad you still enjoy. Thank you for that. Please don't come in right now, Reaper. Now is not the time. Don't be a douchebag. I have enough links to deny scouting, but obviously not to kill Hellions. Hellions? Same build as he did last time. Same build. So we gotta have prep for a Liberator. And hopefully defense for Hellions. But the Hellions are going to take a while to get here. That's part of it, so... No! My baby! I think I should be able to just kill this, though, so... we got two Hellions. Pretty severely damaged now. I'm gonna get the spore for the, mm, I'm not gonna say inevitable, but likely liberator. I need to have enough zerglings to interrupt. He might have already gotten a pretty good idea of what I was doing. I can only afford so many. Lar like, really, the limiting factor is larva right now, as opposed to minerals. There's the spire. I think he may have sniffed this out based on just the third base timing. We'll find out. I'm gonna get a baneling nest at the front. He might think it's like a uh, Midas or something. Would not be unlikely. Gonna try to clear out the watchtowers. Make sure he has nothing here. Yeah, he didn't see anything yet. Now I'm droning hard, pretty much. As much creep as possible as well. He has no prep here. This is beautiful. I completely switched it up from the last build. We went for, yeah, he was going for tanks already. We're going to pick off another couple. Getting everything over here. He doesn't even have stim done yet. I got a lot of picks, but uh, there's still a ton of work to do here. The thing is, he has to decide. Like, he was preparing for what I did last time. Was the situation here. He has his 1-1 one, one done. I'm probably going to try to hit a timing with that.
He still has that turret as well that I have to worry about. Pretty much got this base here. Gotta make sure I have the banelings at home. He's just going for it on the other side, it looks like. He actually doesn't have enough here to defend. We're getting this base. GG, Mutaling me, Banelings back, baby. We played him. All right. Yeah, he was preparing like last time. I did a huge roach timing. This time I did exactly the ops. That map is perfect for Mutas. You can go back and forth. It takes so long for a Terran army to move across. Hmm. Looks like we got a noob here. Will we, will we stop the streak? Twitch.tv slash mcanning, guys. I think he's GM on EU right now. Probably actually gonna cannon rush it. I'm probably gonna take a ton of damage because I'm going three head. Oh yeah, he got GM on Korea, didn't he? The intimidation. I have three bases now. I've been as greedy as you can possibly be. Uh, we'll see if he punishes me for it. He's a pretty macro-oriented player. Except when he's not. So rustled if he actually cannon rushes me. My Jimmy's. Are we in cross positions? Positions here. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna check for them, just in case. We require more minerals. 
I have to say. Who doesn't love high ground cannons at the third? I don't know where that probe went, though. Crouching probe hidden pylon. Where'd you go, baby? Hmm. My star senses are tingling. Oh, you do no, 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 you cannot do that. No, no, no. That is not something you are allowed to do. my OV speed. Well, here we go. We got the big drop in the main. He's got the double star Phoenix coming up here. They're coming! DJ, you can't go double stargate. Three base. I can cross positions on frost. Expect me not to get a little bit rustled. All right. You first made too many of these. You know what? I wasn't injecting either. You want to talk about that, motherfucker? I don't. 10 0 start. Not a bad day. It is him again. There it is. On Dust Towers this time. Mm, this is a tougher map. This is much tougher than Cross Positions Frost. Uh, but throw out that multi-twitch once again, guys. Make sure to watch both sides so that way you can see him dying. In first person. It was Hex, boys. It was the Hex. The Hex are big.
I can tell he's hacking because he's being too nice. No one's actually nice. They're just all hackers. I know because that's how the, that's how it is. I've seen many hackers in my day. Careful, Ross. do this time. I'm not being, I'm not three hatching this time. So, uh, we're not going down that road. I'm scared. I'll be honest, I'll say it. I'm scared to play them in like a straight up macro game. I'm scared to play most Protoss in a straight up macro game, but particularly M canning because I'm going to die. I like hitting, I'm good at hitting timings, like mid-game timings usually. Sometimes early game timings, like last game, but I prefer like mid-game timings. I don't want to play the full spread because I'm scared of that Protoss death ball. So we'll see, we'll see what we can get done. If we need to get anything done. He was going double star last time, I doubt he'll try that shit again. the single star. Is he going to go single star into third? Or is he going to go with the three gates? Hello, is that it? No! Hex! He had micro hex. I could see right there. You could see by the way the zealot uh, did its thing. He hasn't added on any gates. If I'm gonna try to pressure this base, now's the time to make wings. It's a single stalker. I only saw one gate, so if he tries the one gate version, and I get into a very good spot, in my opinion. Pretty much, I'm hiding these lings. Because if he goes down with one gate, I should be able to just cut it off. And that's what I want to do. Always a sentry. Snipe the probe. Try to snipe the uh, sentry here. I got the force field on him. <laughs> so now, drones. Huge round of drones. But this should delay his... The big one to delay would be... Uh, would be his... What am I trying to say? His robos. So, we'll see if I did that. Okay, he's going to get these pickoffs here. Which sucks, but... Uh, you know, I'll just give him some more. Here, have some more drums. Don't worry, I got you, bae. Ain't no thing. That was the wrong button. You didn't figure that one out. 
gonna get all these pickoffs, but that's it, that's I already understand that's going to happen. Like that is something that's going to happen no matter what, pretty much. So like you just let it go. Those drones are dead. Got almost enough hydras now. We'll have to see how quickly he put his army together behind this. Stay on top of these injects. They're gonna be key. Now he's building up that immortal count. So now is the time to just go. We're getting some zerglings. We're gonna have speed. Here come the phoenixes in for another pass. If he has DTs. Oh god, I'm gonna be wrestling. Got one over here. I'm gonna make sure I have an overseer. I don't know what he's doing with these phoenixes. He's chilling. He's chilling. Let's go see how much we're dealing with over here. Does he have archons yet? He does not. He has plenty of pylons. And they're good friends, more pylons. You may remember them. There's a casual overseer. Let's see how the force fields go. As we trickle back, we got a few out. Not, maybe not enough, but uh, I mean, he's in a good spot. He set himself up well. We got the force field some more. We bait out some more. But all I need are a few banelings. Have he got a force field yet? Not quite yet. He's just about out of force field, so we gotta commit with the next fight. Pretty much the next fight is the commitment. Because he's pretty much out of force field now. He'll probably have a couple left. Oh, that was a big hit. I think that was enough to hold. That was a big hit right there. All right. So he's going Disruptor, though. So we can work with that. He doesn't have Archons is the big thing if he's going Disruptor. I gotta keep feigning like I'm interested in attacking. And he's eventually gonna have a ton of stuff, but uh... I didn't mean to press that button, but... We gotta make it look good. Right now. Which means more zerglings. Keeping him busy on the other side of the map. Is he just chilling back right now? Yes, he is. But he knows how this goes. Oh, he hit the wall. Gonna have to let this base go, I think. That's just not gonna happen. I think he knows where I'm going with this right now. Oh, 
Oh, that was a big one. He's gonna recall. Hit the mama core. I don't have enough. He got into too good of a position. I should have just backed off. Oh god. He's gonna eat everything up. We got the plus one done for the ground units. That's so many stalkers! I, I think he figured this out. Alright, I think he figured this out a little bit earlier. Sticking to Hydras wasn't gonna happen. You can't stick to Hydras if he's pumping out that many disruptors. I needed a switch. I needed something. God damn it, he got GM off of it. Motherfucker. All right. Okay. Mm. Best. Ugh. Yeah, I'm scared of him in a macro game. I'm scared of him in a macro game because he just rolls you over. I tried to get the tech switch. I spent a little bit too much time. If I had started the spire before I did the first attack, um, before I did the first attack, then I think I would have had enough mutas out in time. Congratulations to him on the uh, consolation prize of GM on NA. But yeah, make sure to go check out his stream, uh, twitch.tv slash mcanny if you haven't yet. That way you can watch a low GM NA Protoss. Kappa. I'll play a few more games. We might push for the top 100. Yeah, I only need like 20 points, so. Mm, could be like two games. Or now I'm tilted, I'm gonna lose like seven in a row. Of course, M. Kenny is my only loss of the day. It was the Hex. I could never get over the Hex. It wasn't like I got out macroed and he had superior control and timing. He couldn't have had that without Hex. There was nothing I could have done better. I literally did everything perfectly. I didn't lose extraneous drones to Phoenixes that didn't need to be lost. I didn't accidentally pull all my drones off the mineral line two times. Hex. We're gonna play random if I lose again, by the way. 
Uh, we've had our run today. Get off my lawn. Second guess? That's a second guess right there. What the fuck? Just kill the money. <laughs> Stop doing that. Stop with that. <laughs> Think you could just walk across and kill my overlord? <laughs> Don't be so silly. There's a starport. No tech lab on anything yet. Gonna want this third base. His Reaper isn't here. Is he actually making a marine to kill the Ovi? It looks like it. So we're bringing Mutaling Bling back. I love Mutaling Bling. I love Micro and Mutas. So we're bringing it back. Even if it might not be the perfect build. It's the perfect build in my heart. I gotta make sure I just don't die to liberators in the light. He's got a little bit of roasty toasty there. So now here's the thing. If he just goes like for a hell bad timing. Because he doesn't have... A big thing is he does not have a, uh, I just, the problem with this is I just die to hell bad timers. There's pretty much no defending them. I mean, <laughs> I could slam Lings out, but if he just goes for like a medevac hell bat, I need Banelings to not die. That is the important part. Oh god. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Well, fuck me. He said wistfully. You know what? It's not, it's not completely it. I, I can still fight this. I can take out the, uh, medevac here. Get that medevac out of here. Let's throw this on here. So yeah, if you get the Baneling Nest in time, you can defend it. I honestly did not expect to come out in a good spot there, but it came out well enough. If I had got the medevac, I would actually be ahead, I would say, but even as it stands, it isn't too bad. I just lost an overlord that exact second, so that was beautiful. We're gonna have the mutas out. He still has that one medevac, which will help out in the initial muta defense pretty well. backing off on this. He has a third, but... Oh, come on, baby. Please. He didn't see it. No. Not all this just to end like that. Where are you going, queen?
droning real hard over here. I can't fucking select my evolution chamber here. It actually doesn't have enough marines. It's actually physically not enough marines. Hilariously. Does he have another CC too? Damn, yo. Agreed. Oh, should not have lost that. How did he have a turret in his main but nowhere else? Yeah, I know how, but like, why? Going in circles, baby. I can't deal with two. He still has four CCs, remember, though. So, like, he has production. But he has no medevacs here either. It's also another part of this.
That's a silver player. So either he leaves the game immediately, or this is the most... No, no, no. Okay, okay. I remember this guy. I remember this guy. He's ranked silver uh, in ranked, but his unranked MMR, and he's playing unranked right now, uh, is GM. So I have no idea. I don't know. But uh, I've played him before. But yeah, he has like thousands of unranked games and almost no ranked games. Uh, so he's definitely playing unranked because you have a different MMR for unranked and ranked. Mm -hmm. It's almost like two people, like, we looked up the match history. It's almost like two people use the account. Because whenever they play ranked, they have like 50 APM. But whenever they play uh, unranked, they have like 200. So, uh, account sharing hicks. Kepa. Ranked and unranked can play each other, yes, or unranked would never find any games. You don't know if they're playing ranked or unranked until after the game ends, though. If, like, you don't actually say it in chat. But yeah, you don't know if they're ranked or unranked uh, until after the game. The way you can tell if someone was playing unranked, if you don't want to go to their match history, is if they have a league portrait next to their name. In the, uh, in the score screen, if they have a league portrait next to their name, they're playing ranked. Like, I have a GM portrait next to it. But if they're playing unranked, nothing shows up. There's no league there because they weren't playing in a league. Uh, and that's how you determine who was playing ranked and unranked at the score screen. They don't, they don't tell you before the game because then people would just be begging for wins all the fucking time and that's annoying as shit. Thank you, the X Big J, for that sub. Welcome back 22 months ago in a row. Thank you for that continued support almost two years now. Thanks for that. So I, I did expand to the less safe location, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I'm glad I just don't enjoy this train. I'm probably going to do a similar build to what I did against MCanny with the Ling Drop. And he goes Stalker first. I have no idea what his follow-up is going to be. Gonna get the Overlord speed in a moment. Just a few more drones. Gonna go up to like 12 on that nat. I might have already overdone it, but we'll see if we can just pull off the classic Ling Drop. I like that build on this map a lot. There's a lot of space to work with in the main, uh, is the key to it. Now don't get supply block. And it's very likely he's going for... I'm not going to show him anything here. Gonna get that plus one. This is a pretty classic one. We'll see if he has the defenses prepared. Can I fill up three? Yes, I can. No trouble there. Okay, he's going for a third. So we're going to pressure that while dropping the main with three overlords. Of which I need more of. 
just in general, but like. Getting back inside. He has a uh, the massive, most massive artosis pylon of all time. I kill that, I win the game. Simple enough. I can kill all the probes. Even if he can repower this, what's he gonna do with that repower, really? He's bringing more Glaive to Depths in. He's gonna go to the other side here. I can just simply drop over the top at the moment. is optimistic considering the current scenario and we're gonna break the wall I killed the war prism and we the game we play safe yeah, I'm gonna, I actually get a pretty decent chunk of points off him, like 13 points, so that means his MMR was just about even with mine. And as you can see, he's not playing ranked. Oh yeah, there you go. Rank 92, baby. We're back solid top 100. After going 12-1 and one with M canning, you motherfucker. Such a good build on that map. There's so much space to work with. He was going for the massive debt, by the way. Pretty good record this season. It's not. Like, I just, my DVT is just so shaky is the problem. Right now. That's the only thing really holding me back the most. Like, let's look at the statistics. They're not going to reflect it as much as I would think they 